guess this is where we'd end up if we had stayed on 93. Don't believe I've ever been up here. Yeah, the times I've gone into Canada from the highway before, it's been 89 in Vermont. I've been to Montreal a few times. And I've also been to Campobello Island out of, outside of Maine. Campobello is actually where there were more sticklers than anything as far as like the Canadian side, they want to search you going in. Which camp? I've never even been there. I've never heard of that. Oh, Campobello Island is uh, the easternmost point of Maine is Lubeck, Maine, like where the tip of it is in the Atlantic. And uh, there's a little island off the coast of it. And that's technically a Canadian island. And uh, it's Campobello. And then just north of it is, is it New Brunswick there? I forget what the... Uh, Back New Brunswick, Nova Scotia is around there. Yeah, Nova Scotia would be a little higher up, I think. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, I think it's part of the New Brunswick province. And when you go in there, since it's such a small island, they're looking for things to tax for, um, they're, cause like, you're, if you buy anything on the American side and you're a Canadian, you're supposed to pay like an import tax of like 35%. <laughs> so whenever people go into town, like they look to see what they've bought and if they have like new merchandise, like they want to tax it. And like the only time I've been searched at a border was in Campobello going into Canada. They were like looking at what we were bringing in to see if we were bringing like new merchandise or anything. So that's why like if you do buy anything in the American side, like the smart Canadian citizens or even Americans going across will like open the stuff up, like make it so it's not like new merchandise or whatever. Yeah. Actually made the mainstream media. 